New today, we have a look at some of the debris from Ocean Gate's Titan submersible that was recovered from the ocean floor. This was the ship carrying parts of the sub. It's now back in port in St. John's, Newfoundland. A remotely operated vehicle, you've heard this described as an ROV, searched the ocean floor near the Titanic wreckage for the Titan after it went missing. Images here show several of the pieces of the Titan sub being lifted onto the ship. The desperate search for that sub captured the attention of the nation. It had the world watching. This disaster is also raising questions about safety of private undersea exploration. Now, any and all future planned Titanic expeditions have been canceled. News Nation's Evan Lambert is with us live uh, with more on this. Evan, this is having a lasting impact and no telling how long or how costly uh, this investigation will be. Right, Marnie, and as you mentioned, we are getting our first look at the pieces, relatively large pieces, of the Titan submersible plucked from the Atlantic Ocean, all while this massive investigation into the fate of the sub is ongoing. And while there's an apparent freeze on travel to the Titanic wreckage site, both commercial and tourists. Take another look at some of these pictures coming out of Newfoundland, Canada. You can see those crews putting the pieces of the Titan onto land. They will be crucial to the Marine Board of Investigation. That's what it's called, into the loss of the vessel and those five souls on board. The Coast Guard announcing last Thursday crews found debris indicating a catastrophic implosion on the ocean floor about 1,600 feet from the Titanic wreckage. As this investigation continues, it appears there are no planned submissions to the Titanic. OceanGate was really the only company offering tourist visits, and industry experts told the New York Post they weren't aware of any scheduled scientific visits either. I just spoke with the founder of a luxury travel company who had clients on a wait list for the OceanGate Titanic expedition. He says he thinks the tragedy will lead to a temporary loss of interest in visiting the Titanic amid those safety concerns, but it could very well rebound. Certainly people uh, will be thinking a great deal more about risk and certainly about personal responsibility. In the same way that when there's a helicopter or a plane accident, the world doesn't stop taking planes and helicopters. Uh, there might be regulation that makes it uh, safer. And so, yeah, to a certain degree, people think, OK, well, we, we've learned from this experience. And when it next is possible, then we'll be doing it in a much uh, safer context. And we did reach out to the Coast Guard, Marty. They have not commented on the finding of that wreckage today, those new images that we have just seen, uh, or how it will help them in their investigation. But we can expect it, of course, to be key. Marty. A difficult part of the process for all involved, uh, most importantly, the families. Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.